The time has rolled around once more for another report from MPD, this time for the month of February 2016. As of course we have our usual round of hardware and software goodness. But before we get into that, let's talk about the month of February. Now of course there were a few blockbuster game releases, but sadly that wasn't enough to match spending from last year as consumers spent 842.5 million on new physical gaming products, US retailers only, so no digital and no worldwide as normal. During the four week period from the 31st of January to February the 27th, and that is down 12% from the 960.3 million year over year. Now, that is largely because of a tough comparison to February of last year, which did of course include the debut of the Nintendo new 3DS XL, along with the Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask 3D. Now, of course, there was no hardware launch in February this year, and of course we did have games like Street Fighter V, but sadly that wasn't enough to make up the difference. I have a bit of a statement here from MPD analyst Liam Callahan, who said, quote, in February 2016, decreases in hardware spending as well as new physical software spending led to an overall decrease in physical spending of 118 million. Now, I did mention the new 3DS XL hardware for a reason, as hardware sales were actually the biggest drag. They were down 23% year over year from $378.2 million to $292.2 million. Now, of course, the new 3DS XL last year is somewhat to do with that, and also the fact that both Sony and Microsoft have cut the price of the PS4 and Xbox One, respectively. So even if they sold the same amount of consoles, they're bringing in less money per console. So it does make sense in a way. And Liam went on to say, quote, the main cause of the decrease was portable hardware, which dropped by 58% of 48 million, due to a difficult comparison to the launch of Nintendo's new 3DS in February 2015. Console hardware sales suffered due to the dramatic drop-off of 23% of both current and last generation consoles experienced declines. Now naturally we see a massive drop off in old gen consoles such as the Xbox 360, PS3 and Wii. All of those console sales dropped by 77% and the PS4, Xbox One and Wii U meanwhile dropped 6%. Sadly software didn't fare much better as consumers spent about 303.9 million in February which is down 10% from the 338.9 million spent at the same time last year. And Liam said, quote, despite the success of some February 2016 new launches relative to their predecessors, collectively, new launches sold 4% less in dollars and 12% fewer units than those of February 2015. Now, of course, we had two major titles this month, that being, of course, Far Cry Primal and Street Fighter V, but sadly, they could not match the sales figures of Evolve and Majora's Mask 3D. And sadly, as I said, the decline of the PS3 and Xbox 360 are somewhat... Um, contributing here as software sales for those consoles did drop 52% and portable software was down 30% so let's move on to the hardware sadly as normal Microsoft Sony and Nintendo have been tight-lipped with the numbers regarding their gaming systems and when they were reached for comments, sadly, we only got generic responses in return. However, here's what Sony had to say, quote, We would like to thank our fans and partners for making PlayStation 4 the top-selling hardware platform and the software sales leader in February, according to MPD. We continue to see strong year-over-year -year sales growth of PS4 hardware and software and are truly humbled by the support and enthusiasm from gamers and Microsoft had an even less clear response, as they said, quote, the unmatched lineup of games available on Xbox One continues to generate a strong response from gamers, as seen through global Xbox Live engagement and exclusive game sales. Compared to February 2015, exclusive Xbox One US game sales drove a 49% increase, and the total number of hours spent gaming on Xbox One worldwide rose 93%, and Nintendo's statement uh, sadly, I do not have here, as apparently I did not even have any information about hardware. So, with that out of the way, let's go on to software, and the first of which, of course, is the top 10 software charts for this four-week period, again, US retail only. So, we have Far Cry Primal at number one, Black Ops 3 still going strong at number two, GTA 5 at three, Naruto Shippuden, Ultimate Ninja Storm at four, NBA 2K16 at five, Lego Marvel Avengers at 6, Street Fighter 5 at 7, Minecraft still at 8, My, uh, sorry, 
Fire Emblem Fates Birthright at 9, and Fallout 4 at number 10. And Liam had a bit of a statement about this as well, and he said, quote, If sales for Fire Emblem Fates Birthright, Fire Emblem Fates Conquest, and the special edition for Fire Emblem Fates were combined, this title would have ranked third for new physical software sales. The combined first month sales of Fire Emblem Fates would more than triple the first month sales of the, the next highest game within the franchise, Fire Emblem Awakening. Interestingly as well, um, Naruto was the top selling game on PlayStation 4 in February, and considering it launched in the same month as Street Fighter V and Far Cry Primal, that's, uh, that's quite a feat. But that of course wasn't enough to stop Far Cry Primal from taking the crown of the number one spot of this particular period. And if Ubisoft's comments about The Division yesterday are to be believed, well, we're going to be seeing an interesting report next month, most likely with The Division reigning supreme. As for platform-wise, you know, which one sold more and more platforms, all I can tell you is that the PlayStation 4 is continuing to dominate in terms of software sales. Sony Computer Entertainment America said to GamesBeat that the PS platform led in terms of game sales in February, and... That can be seen in the figures where the PS4 is listed before the Xbox One for games like Far Cry Primal and GTA V. However, it's not to say that it's winning in all fronts, for example, despite the fact that Call of Duty Black Ops um, 3 jumped ship to the other side, it still sold best on Xbox One. And there's one interesting thing I want you to consider. A game was actually missing from that list, who has been on that list for a, a little while now, and that, of course, is Star Wars Battlefront. Now, it could be number 11 or number 12 for all I know, I know but it still is interesting to see the hype for that game dropping down, of course. There probably was a surge of hype after the release of Star Wars The Force Awakens, but it seems that has died out at least enough for it to drop off the top 10 of MPD's charts. And one last interesting thing to note, and this may indeed be the sign of an end of an era, is that a lot of new games on this particular chart, the software chart of course, have stopped listing physical PC versions, even though they're available for PC. And apparently, Far Cry Primal, Lego Marvel Avengers and Street Fighter V didn't sell any physical Windows discs at US retailers according to MPD, so it could very much mean that this is the sign of the final end times for PC games being sold through traditional brick and mortar retail stores, at least in the US. So there you have it, the overall report for February 2016. And overall, a bit of a drop in sales compared to last year. We had some good blockbusters this month, but compared to some of the months we've got ahead of us, it was an okay month, so I'd expect things to pick up. It's going to be really interesting to see what happens in April, and of course this month with The Division, and later on in the year when we finally get some of these bigger releases that we've been hyped up to have, like of course the first episode of Final Fantasy VII, etc. It's going to be interesting times this year, I feel. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.